Are you ready? I'm ready. I just got back from playing 27 holes of golf. Grab some lunch. Let's come out here and chuck some mid ranges. That's right. Mid ranges. Bag full of mid ranges for the third part of our series of the matchups. You all know how the matchups work. We go head to head. I get two that are pretty similar and we put them up against each other and we find out which one I like. Okay? It's personally, it's me. It's not you. You probably like something else. All right, as I said, mid ranges today very functional. We're going to talk about those functions. What job do I really want this mid-range to do? The other thing you need to know, that big green backstop, 350 feet away. That's my target zone. That's what I'm aiming for when I release it. They might fade, they might turn, whatever, or maybe even dead straight. We'll find out. First mid-range matchup is the Discraft Buzz and the Castaplast Cax Z. Okay? What is so special about these? Everyone knows, staple in a lot of people's bags because it's accurate, it's straight, doesn't have a lot of turn, a lot of fade. You can pretty much get a good flat out of that buzz. Same with my CAC Z. Here we go. What is the job? We talked about jobs. This is something I want to throw for those straight shots. I'm not worried about a little bit of fade at the end, but I want to not have it turn over, okay? The whole goal, maybe I put a little extra juice on it. I really can't afford it to turn over. That's when I pull out these suckers. There it is, right down the middle. Slight turn and it's coming. It's still going straight and it's gonna sit beautifully. Nice buzz. That's what everybody wants out of their buzz, right there. That is super duper 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 low and straight as a geez. I don't think it deviated a millimeter. All right, the next matchup is when we want to go super super straight. Maybe it'll turn a little bit. It'll glide and get in there. That's when I pull out my hex or my Aurora. They will go straight. They might turn, but I'm okay with that. Let's see what these can do. Snap out there straight as an arrow. Look at that slight turn, but it's gonna come back. Don't you worry. Nice plop, perfect. Loving that hex. There it goes, flat, flying straight. Look at that, just like the hex. It's flying, it's gonna come down and sit. Boo, right in the middle of the fairway. Sweet disc. All right, here we go. We have the MD3 by Discmania and the Matrix by MVP. So what are these for? What's the job of these? These are overstable for me. They are not going to turn on me. And if I just chuck them at 75%, they're just going to start on a hyzer. And that's not really what I'm looking for. These are the ones when you have to put your full mustard behind it in order for them to fly right. Okay, let's do it. Boom, there she goes, there's a rip. It's going straight, but it really wants to fade really bad, it does. Got some glide out of that one. A lot of the other ones weren't gliding very well. A lot of them are fighting right out of my hand. That one I got to launch. Yay, got a nice one to show you guys. But it takes work, it takes work to get that. At least for me, but it is brand new. So, you know, gotta play with it, right? Boom, there it goes. And you're gonna get that reliable fade. Started off and never quite went flat. And it just started that little tiny hyzer line, solid and a headwind, that's gonna be fine too. Okay, our next matchup, fun one. Got some flex action going on. We want it to drift off and turn, and then we want it to stable up and come back in. Maybe it won't quite come back to center. Maybe we want it to stay over there a little bit. Or maybe we put it up in the air a little bit even more and just let it keep on turning over. Okay, these will handle that. 
So once again, we have a matrix, but this is in the soft plastic, electron plastic. The one I threw before was in proton plastic, way more overstable. And this is already beat in. So this is gonna do a lot different things than that other matrix. Then we have the relay. This is technically a fairway driver, but it's a six speed. And hey, it's my matchup. This is what I wanna match up because both of these are in my bag, both of them. Why? They pretty much do the same thing. I want to see which one I like. Here we go. Real consequences. And then one gets out of my bag. Oh, up there. And now she's going to turn. Zoop. There we go. Get up there. Get it around that tree or whatever. And then let's let it bend over. There's the matrix. Boom, up and go. Now she's gonna turn on me. Will it stable out? Yeah, look at that stable out and come back. Nice, controlled, I like the control. I like that it's not gonna just come over and dive bomb on me. I know it's fighting to stay stable the whole way in a nice smooth turn. That's why I love my relay. There's a hyzer flipped relay, comes out nice and flat, even gets me a slight little turn. And it's gonna sit down and come back. All right, the next matchup, Disc Mania's Origin versus Thought Space, the Pathfinder. These are on the flippy side. What job do they have to do? Get them up in the air and let them turn, turn, turn. Now both, if whatever altitude you get them at, they will stable up but a lot of times they'll just keep turning. So it really depends the altitude you get on these and how much hyzer flip you want to put on these. Boom, up she goes, and now she's gonna turn and glide on down. Whoosha! There we go. That was a really nice fly from that origin. Just get it up there and let it do its job. Up and away she goes. Now she's gonna turn. She's gonna turn, but she's gonna fly a little bit and come out and set. Nice, pretty nice. All right, lovely. All right, now we have a couple for those situations where you want low glide. You don't want this thing, you can't afford to go drifting off one way or the other way. You just wanna be able to rip your power into it and let it go straight as it can. And it's probably gonna fade a little bit, turn a little bit but it's low glide. You're not gonna go way off course with these suckers. So I have an Innova Crow and a Latitude 64 Fuji. Perfect, throw right down the middle, just like I said, had a little baby flex and it sits down and it didn't go whoosh anywhere. Boom, sit. Right down the middle, there she goes, straight flat, no glide, and it's just gonna sit and poof. Perfect. That's Fuji, baby. All right, and the final job for my mid range series here is the fun series. That's the job of the goat or the jote and the ghost. So, why are these fun and probably not gonna be in my bag? Because they are super glidey. If, however I throw it, it might turn a lot, it might hyzer a lot, who knows what it's gonna do. I can put full force behind these guys and it's just fun watching whatever the heck it does. Okay, let's do it. Up and away she goes, is she gonna turn? Yeah, she's gonna turn. Is she gonna come back and stable up? Good big old glide, oh. That might be like 335, maybe 340. That was a good one. Boom in the air. There she goes. She's sitting pretty. Oh, but she's going to stall and she's going to come down. Kaboosh. All right, cool. Got it in the air. All right. All right, let's do this. 
Who are my favorites? Who are the winners? Buzz, super, super solid. Everyone uses it for a reason, right? CAC Z, awesome for me, I love it. This is a K1 soft plastic, so it's really rubbery, but I love it. I just, it's just awesome. I'd love to see a slow-mo this like coming out of my hand and it like flexion and doing stuff. Anyway, flies super, super straight, you've seen it. Which is my favorite? Going with the CAC Z. I know, big upset here, but man, I've been bagging it for a long time. Love it, is my go-to. All right, we have the Aurora versus the Hex. Super awesome, as you can see, they both fly very, very, very much the same. But when it comes down to maybe a little bit of wind, this is gonna hold that line a little bit better for me. It's more predictable. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna go with the Hex over the Aurora. Now we have the MD3, I call it the beast. This is new for me too. I'm still learning how to throw, but man, if you don't put anything behind it, it's just gonna go and die on you. You've really gotta snap it. You know, picture Simon in your head and go, snap, all right? The Matrix, super overstable, like I said in this Proton Plastic. Which one will I bring to the field as my overstable mid-range? It's the Matrix. Been a big Matrix fan for a long time. So here we go, the winner. Now we got two more MVPs. So we're gonna get these up high and maybe they'll flex out and then come back down and land real nice. Or maybe I'm gonna get a little more low and put a little more shoulder into it and let it just keep on turning over. That's what these will do. And like I said before, only they do the same thing. I only want one in my bag. Which one's it gonna be? Real life consequences. Keeping the relay in the bag, kicking out the soft matrix. Another reason for that, soft matrix, if it hits more trees, it's gonna get even more beat up. So when I throw it, I only throw it in fields or open spots, but now I don't have to worry about it. Taking over. Now we got what I call the flippies. These things are touchy. You gotta hyzer flip them and control that glide down there. Once they get going at that angle, they're gonna stay at that angle. They're not gonna wanna come out Sometimes they do. I won't say never. Uh, Pathfinder started out pretty stable for me like on the first day and then it got like beat in like instantly and then so it really wants to turn over, turn over, turn over. Which one of these am I gonna use for that long turn? It's gonna be the Origin. I still don't know where this one's gonna now go. I don't know where the beat in, how much more beat in it's gonna get, but right now for the comfort of getting that dial in just right, we're going with the Origin. Now, I highly recommend some low glide mid-ranges in your bag. There are times when you don't want to go past the pen, right? You go, boom, I get out here and I throw these and I go, I know I can get 280 feet out of this at my 90% chuck. And it doesn't go past that. It doesn't go to 291 or 292. It might go to 280, whatever, but it doesn't go past that. Sometimes you got pins out there. And you're like, whoa, there's a big river back there. That's when you grab your low glide mid ranges, okay? Which one of these is my favorite? It's gonna be the Fuji. They fly very much the same, but I just like the feel of the Fuji, just the grip. It's all about the grip for me. So that worked really well. I've had it in my bag for that situation for a long time now. Whoa, where's my goat? And now for the funsies. I got the goat, glides, glides, glides. The ghost also glides, glides, glides. A little more stable, but I love throwing, maybe throw it out on a big, big uh, Anheuser and then letting it fight back, see if it'll fight back. Goat's just fun to chuck. Not gonna bring these on a course. Uh, one of the things, these are both very big discs. Feels awkward in the hand, honestly. Not used to that. They're both giant, let's get a compare. Let's just get a relay, for example. There we go. You can see, it might not look a lot bigger, but man, your hand can feel it. It's definitely bigger. It just has a bigger arc, right? So it just it feels a little bit different, but they're still just fun to chuck. All right, so which is my favorite chucking one right now? 
Oh my gosh, super hard. Honestly, I, I was gonna say this, and then I was gonna say this. I'm gonna have to go with the ghost, the ghost. Uh, like I said, it's fun because it's got slight more overstable. So throw it up there, see what it does. Woo! And that's it for our mid ranges. Hope you had a good time with that. I sure did. Sorry I couldn't hit 350 feet, so no jumping up and down, no cartwheels. But hey, that's how it goes. One more round. Matchups. Putters. That's right. Putters. Throwing putters. Not putting putters. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Now we got two more MVPs. These are for my little flexies or get him up high and let him to got two more MVPs here. This is we got two more MVPs here, so we're gonna get these. Yeah, psych. <laughs> All right, didn't know if that was rolling or not. Boom, there it is. It really wants to fade, it really wants to fade really bad. Comes out of my hand. <sighs> Cool, that was actually pretty darn straight with a little hyzer. Fun, gonna come out here, rip those suckers. Maybe we'll get a few past 300 feet. I'm just jabbering. Boom, that is a hurlage. Not on camera and bye bye, I'm walking. Put my hiking shoes on. We're going hiking. For the third part of our series of the matchups. Let's do it. You know the rules. We huck them a couple times. I show you the best ones. We look at it, we study it, we figure out, hmm, what's the point of all this? You know what we do here on the matchups. We huck them, we chuck them, and then we study them. Oh, I don't like that.